purpose of lock grating is to direct water away from your house. Lock grating uh, can direct water towards swales and other stormwater management infrastructure, uh, including underground systems, uh, to make sure that it doesn't flow towards the house. Poor lock grating uh, may include lock grating that is directed towards the house. Uh, sometimes you can see this pretty easily. Um, and if that's the case, lock grating should be corrected to make sure that water flows away from the house. It's imperative that when backfilling after construction of a new home or after a renovation to an old home, that uh, compact soil such as clay be used for that backfill. Over time, clay uh, compacts very tightly and helps prevent water from entering into the home. Looser soils can actually promote the entry of water into the ground beside the home, which can increase the risk of infiltration flooding and can increase the amount of water that enters foundation drains. If you've ever had a look around newly constructed homes, you might notice that yards are gently graded away from houses. When a yard is graded in this manner, it helps keep water away from the home and the foundation and helps keep the basement dry. Check your lot to see if your yard slopes away from your home. You should check everywhere, including under stairs and decks. The soil directly beside your foundation wall should be approximately 10 centimeters to 15 centimeters higher than the soil one and a half meters away from the foundation. Water from downspouts can add stress to underground sewer pipes and contribute to sewer backup in your neighborhood. Disconnecting the downspout in a home and directing the water away from the home is one of the simpler uh, measures that homeowners can take uh, to reduce the chances of basement flooding. Simply, they're just severing uh, the downspout that normally would go underground into the sewer system. They're putting an elbow on that downspout, a 1.8 meter uh, extension if possible, and conveying the water away from the property. In addition, if they put a cement splash pad at the end of that spout, uh, they will prevent water from entering back toward the home and also prevent erosion from happening on their, their property. In a severe rainfall event, quite a bit of water can come off the roof. Under a typical 1,800 square foot home with a 900 square foot roof, with 25 millimeters of rainfall, you can get as much as 2,000 liters of water being shed from the roof. That's enough to fill 10 standard size bathtubs. And that's why disconnecting the downspout can dramatically reduce the amount of water going directly into the sewer system. Your downspout extension might direct water to a more porous area, like a garden, a safe distance away from the foundation. Again, a few meters is good. The grading on your property may direct water towards a swale. A swale is a long grassy depression worked into a neighborhood landscape. The purpose of a swale is to direct water towards stormwater management infrastructure, including overland flow routes and underground pipes. When considering lot grading around your property, you should not create problems for your neighbors while correcting your own lot grading. Ensure grading does not direct water in such a way as to create ice buildup during cooler weather. Basically, you should direct water to an acceptable drainage outlet that can direct flows to municipal conveyance systems, which means the system the municipality has developed to carry water flow to its proper and safest destination, the sewer system or holding area. Talk to your municipality to find out where to direct flows from your lot. We encourage you to watch all the videos in the series and to download our handbook for reducing the risk of basement flooding from our website at iclr.org. Being well informed is the first step to help you reduce the risk of basement flooding.